Namaste, Sacred Masters, and welcome to this pick a card session for your shadow work. We have the deck shuffle and three random cards from the Dark Mirror Oracle deck placed before you. If you want to purchase this deck, look for the link in the description box below. You can pause the video and take your time to see if any of these cards resonate with you, and then use the time code in order to jump to the card you choose. This is card 1, 2, and 3. Don't forget there are many more pick a card videos to choose from. You can find them in my playlist, Shadow Work Pick a Shadow Card, on my channel's main page. So don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell for more pick a card sessions. After you pick your card, I will explain what each card means in the book. Now, the book's description is poetic and can be confusing sometimes. But for the sake of sharing, I will read it out, then give you my interpretation of it. You will hear my interpretation when I remove my mask and speak with my normal voice. I will also give you a shadow prompt in order to get started on some shadow work based on the card you pick, together with Grabovia codes to help with your shadow work sessions, or sometimes a link to another video relating to the matter. Alright, let's get started. Pick a card and jump to the timestamp. The card that you pick is Envious Gluttony, represented by the waxing gibbous moon, and is illustrated as a man with rotting sickly skin and yellow eyes. He dresses in tatters and sickly blood runs down his chin. He has clawed feet and a crown of a skeleton alligator jaw. The upper part of his head, the lower part of his chest like a gaping mouth. The sentence resonating with this card is, There is hunger sleeping just under the surface like an animal lurking. This card is not just dark, it is unpleasant, sickly disgusting. The difference in the how we feel in front of a vampire as opposed to being in front of roofing barks, it is not an existential darkness that we can paint out romance, drama and subtle anguish. It is raw, primal, reeking of rotting stench. It feels like there is darkness. And in that black landscape, there is a hole leading to an even greater darkness. And that is a calling. The urge is pressed down every time, played with, toyed with, treated like something that doesn't belong here. It's like rolling in the mud, bringing out the twisted, refreshing feeling of demeaning oneself. The key is that we don't want to recognize the depth of the envy and the anger. We casted it out of ourselves, and now it's truly a parasitic monster, impossible to accept as something that came out of ourselves. What if we bring light to the pitch dark well? What if the scary monster is just a scrawny star feeling? What if it's just a little thing, dark tar, indeed, but to be sorry or not to be feared? This card is all about energy vampires and people that drain us. Most dangerous of all is the narcissist. Under the veil of love bombing, we quickly found our lives spiraling down through stonewalling, gaslighting, blackmail and even having our friends turn against us. Our shadow prompt for this is obviously, who are the negative people in my life? You want to find out who is draining your energy or creating negative energies around you and find some ways in which you can slowly let them go. It's not easy to leave a person, especially a narcissist, but there are many helpful resources that you can use online to help you through it. But for those of you who can let go, quietly do it with love, compassion and forgiveness for them. Because almost all the time, they don't know what they're doing. Use the Grabovia code 829-876354 to remove negative energies as you begin to clear your life out. If you want to know how to use Grabovia codes in your sessions for meditating or journaling, check out the link above or in the description box below. I hope this session gives you something to work on, pick up your shadow journals, and let's start finding our inner and true authentic self. 
I'll try to post more pick a card every week depending on my schedule so that gives you some time to sit with your shadow problem and begin working on positive changes to a new life. If you found something new about yourself, don't forget to comment and share with others as well. This not only helps build courage and self-esteem, but it also encourages others that they are not alone. I'll see you in the next session. Namaste. The card you picked is called Fragmentation and is represented by the waxing crescent moon. It is illustrated in what seems to be a cold iron coat rack and is topped by a broken stone statue of a fairy visible only from the chest up. Stone roses are at her breast, a crack cuts her face and her body while a jewel is on her forehead and silvery insect wings stand at her back. A crescent golden slice of the moon is like a halo behind her head. It is possible to glimpse suspended in the void, also the hands of the stone fairy. The sentence that resonates with this card is, Losing a sense of self is a crescendo of noise, a decrescendo of pain, and a prelude to nothingness. This card asks, What if I were to cut off my legs? Would I still be me? If I were to carve out my heart, would I still be me? If my flesh would turn to stone, if my lungs were emptied of air, if my dreams to fly were to be forced in chains and hang out like an expired balloon, would I still be me? I fought and I lost, broken beyond recognition. Not by the shallow sight of bystanders who can pity but who can't understand. I cannot even recognize myself, through the sobs, through the tears, and when silence finally comes, through the empty motion and conventional spouse, who did this to me? I did. Maybe, maybe not. What is broken can be mended, not so that it returns whole, but at least until it tells his name anew, my name, and who will do that for me? I will. This card talks about lost hopes and dreams. Oftentimes, we lose our sense of purpose as we try to navigate in the uncharted waters we call life. The more we modify our behavior, traits, hopes, and dreams so that we can fit into society, the more we lose who we really are. We forget sometimes the hopes and dreams we had as a little child and probably still do today. How can we find this again? Use the shadow problem, what gives my life meaning, purpose, and makes me feel valued? Importantly, is there anything on your list that you have not done or have procrastinated to do because life got in the way? Now is your sign that you should do it. What would you like to be recognized for? What do you want to be remembered for? Use the Grobovia code 9187948181 to self-heal yourself in this session. If you want to know how to use Grobovia codes in your sessions for meditating or journaling, check out the link above or in the description box below. I hope this session gives you something to work on pick up your shadow journals, and let's start finding our inner and true authentic self. I'll try to post more pick a card every week depending on my schedule, so that gives you some time to sit with your shadow problem and begin working on positive changes to a new life. If you found something new about yourself, don't forget to comment and share with others as well. This not only helps build courage and self-esteem, but it also encourages others that they are not alone. I'll see you in the next session. Namaste. The card you picked is Revenge, and is represented by the waning gibbous moon. It is illustrated with a complex glyph that illuminates the ground as a pale woman dressed in black seems to surge from it. She has blood crimson eyes, a white flower garland, and two plain swords. Her wings are made of withered branches. The sentence that resonates with it is, There is no white knight, but there can be a black storm woven by fallen angels. This card asks what if there was a place when there is no more time for words, no more sense to bargain or negotiate, no more survival instincts to accept fear or ponder consequences. It is a place we can reach at the limit of our abuse, with the last spark of our dignity surging up as a powerful black flame. We cry, we hurt, and we strike. 
to destroy. We destroy not for ourselves because we are gone. We destroy for the fairness of the world. We destroy because if there is no sweet justice, there can at least be cruel revenge. We destroy for those who came earlier, for those who have come later. We destroy, and as we destroy, we forsake ourselves. There is no going back, because coming back from that requires much more than force. We all want revenge when we are wronged. We want a sense of justice. We want to be karma. But remember that shadow work is about remembering who you are, even when you're triggered. Was there a time you really wanted to seek revenge on someone? Are you wishing karma on a particular person now and wish you could be the one or at least be there when it happens? Ask in your shadow prompt, what did someone do that triggers feelings of revenge? I want you to look carefully at your answers. Consider where these irrational feelings stem from. These are thoughts in your head that keeps you in negative and low vibrations. Are there ways you can heal from it and let go of it? One of the ways you can do it is to change your thoughts around it and allow the flow of the universe to take its course out. Your only responsibility is to yourself. Let the other person answer for his or her energies to the universe. By feeling triggered with a sense of revenge, they are taking you into their energy sphere. So change your thoughts into one that is of letting go and peace. Take a look at the video I'm posting in the link above or in the description box below on how to change your thoughts and emotions. It can really help you reprogram your mind away from it and focus on your own better future. Use the Grobovio code of 100-110-5010 to charge the energy of peace around you. If you want to know how to use Grobovio codes in your sessions for meditating or journaling, check out the link above or in the description box below. I hope this session gives you something to work on, pick up your shadow journals, and let's start finding our inner and true authentic self. I'll try to post more pick a card every week depending on my schedule, so that gives you some time to sit with your shadow prom and begin working on positive changes to a new life. If you found something new about yourself, don't forget to comment and share with others as well. This not only helps build courage and self-esteem, but it also encourages others that they are not alone. I'll see you in the next session. Namaste.